And one of the one of the nice things about Panda was its interface with its shaders was relatively simple and low level. Um, it didn't have any of the surface shaders that Unity has, um, and it had a system of you know here's a shader, here's a value mapping to and from. Um, but uh, one of the things we found when we were doing uh, Midway Mania, we had uh, plates that we wanted to break when they hit uh, when they're hit with a baseball um, and it turns out well now you're moving from drawing one thing to drawing five things and one of the things you have to watch out for is performance is how many things you're drawing um, Panda didn't really have any sort of collapsing utility it was more of you're drawing this number of things great here that's that's how many draw calls you have uh, so one of the systems we built was uh, a special mesh that had uh, vertex information that said which piece of the plate are you. So piece here is piece zero, one, two, three. And then we ended up sending up to the shader information on that many physics objects. Um, so we replaced the complete uh, plate with the broken plate and we're still drawing one plate but now it's got different pieces and based on the physics objects it's now moving as physics objects. Uh, so that worked out pretty well except they wouldn't cast a shadow. Uh, so uh, what we ended up doing is making something similar except instead of rendering a color it would just render to the, the depth system and it's still using that same physics information to split off where those vertices are going to end up. So uh, again we made we're simplifying the number of objects we're rendering so instead of 50 billion broken pieces it's 1 billion broken pieces so by a factor of 5 it's pretty significant uh, and uh, for a while, we had decided, no, they're just not going to cast shadows because that would be too much of a pain in the butt. Uh, but because we had very uh, specific control over what was rendering in the shadow pass, we could make a special shader that did all the same things that the, the regular shader did, but without any of the textures, because all you really needed to know was where that new vertex was. Uh, so long story short we were able to in a in a reasonably fast way have these plates break in a very or at least toy like fashion uh realistic is a little overstated <laughs> uh but it, it it felt good and it had the same rendering impact that all the other non-broken plates did um so you had uh, baseballs and plates and army men all flying around and it ran just fine because uh, you know shader shenanigans <laughs> so there you go